What's up guys, my name is Fran, and once again, welcome back. So in my previous video, I did my review on the best drone under $300. In that video, I checked out the 3DR Solo and showed off some of its features and just spoke on how it's a fantastic drone under $300. But also in that video, I mentioned I'd be doing a dedicated video to the modified GoPro that I use with the 3DR Solo. So in this video, we're gonna be checking out the Backbone Ribcage Air Mod Kit for the GoPro Hero 4 Black. So what exactly does the Ripcage Air Mod Kit do? Well, essentially it gives you all of the components you need, minus the tools of course, to successfully take apart your really expensive GoPro and expose its sensor. Now by doing this, you now have the capability of using different type of lenses than the one that's actually integrated or installed on your GoPro. Having the flexibility of using interchangeable lenses on something as small and light as the GoPro pretty much creates these endless possibilities. So here's another question. Why would anyone wanna take apart a really expensive action camera such as a GoPro Hero 4 Black, modify it, voiding the warranty, as well as possibly causing damage to the actual piece of equipment. And I think that's because the risk is worth the reward. When recording 4K footage with the default lens coming out of the GoPro Hero 4 Black, you'll notice this really weird lens distortion on the left on the right of the screen. You'll also notice this when looking at drone footage as it can make the entire horizon pretty much curved. Now I'm pretty sure someone out there is going to mention the fact that if you drop down the resolution from 4K, you're then able to change the field of view to a linear or medium mode. However, I wanna make sure I can be able to record in 4K. Now when looking at footage that's coming out of a GoPro Hero 4 Black shooting in 4K with the Ribcage Mod Kit, you'll notice that this lens distortion is now gone and the screen is nice and straight. There's also a number of other really good use cases for something like a Ribcage Mod Kit paired up with the GoPro Hero 4 Black. You can record videos like this for YouTube, you can pair it up with the 3DR Solo and have a really powerful camera with interchangeable lenses. And then there's a reason that I picked to actually create a second Ribcage Mod Kit and that's actually capturing 360 content. So there's a company out there and I know I'm gonna butcher their name so I'll just leave it right here at the bottom of the screen, but basically they make these really cool 220, 250 and 280 degree camera lenses. Lenses. So if you pair up two or even three of these cameras with these really awesome lenses, you're then capable of either streaming or even capturing some really high quality 360 VR content. So how much does the mod kit cost? Well, the kit itself only costs about $200 and two hours of your time if you're careful. However, they do sell the actual GoPro itself already kitted out and pre-made with the mod kit already installed, but that retails for about $699. Now, if you factor in the price of maybe a used Hero 4 Black, you probably would save a lot more money by doing it yourself. Now, if you consider the lenses themselves, they start at around $10, but do get into the $100,000 range. So is the Ribcage Air Mod Kit worth it? Now, in my opinion, for the sake of image quality, it absolutely is. You're gonna now get a really nice, undistorted, great image quality in 4K, and uh, you're definitely gonna be super happy with the results, I know I am. But how do you guys feel about the Ribcage Air Mod Kit? Would you do this to your own GoPro? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, while you're down there, if you like this video and you wanna see more like it, do me a favor, slam on that like button and if you're not already subscribed to the channel don't forget to subscribe once again guys my name is fran thanks so much for checking out this video and i'm sure i'll see you guys in my next one